With the school year just a couple of months away, parents and students are still wondering what it will look like. APS just drafted a plan that includes a lot of changes. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart. Albuquerque Public Schools just released an 11 page plan, and the district says its top priority is health and safety. The challenges involved in reopening are just tremendous transportation, repeated testing for staff and students, contact tracing. Uh, stepped up hygiene and cleaning, the technology, it's, it's just a bit overwhelming. The first day back to school is set for August 12th, and APS says it's preparing with three plans since reopening will also depend on guidance from the public education and health departments and what the virus caseload will look like as summer progresses. Those plans range from a full capacity to a hybrid distance learning and alternate days in class. A third option will be with solely online instruction. Now, measures could be tightened up or relaxed over the course of the school year. Schools are looking at sanitation supplies. Social distance measures and meal access. We spoke with an APS parent who has both a high schooler and elementary school student. While her 10th grader was more self motivated, she says trying to keep her young one engaged in school from home is challenging. When you're in a classroom, you're, you're interacting whether you know, you know it or not, but you're communicating with other kids, you're hands on. So sitting in front of a, an iPad. For an hour and a half is is very very difficult for a seven year old. Even so, Julie Sprunk says she doesn't feel comfortable sending her kids back to school full time without a vaccine for COVID-19. Measures APS could implement include employees wearing masks, closing common areas like cafeterias, keeping desks six feet apart, staggering drop off and pick up times, and closing playgrounds for or staggering their use to constantly disinfect them. Those parents that can distance learn, I think they should. That way it makes room for those parents that have to send their kids to school. Now, Sprunk is also a school bus driver and expressed concerns about how she may have to enforce social distancing on the bus. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabby. Now, state guidelines for reopening schools should be finalized in the next few weeks.